The Industrial Cheese Making Journey Cheese is one of the most versatile and beloved foods worldwide, used in everything from comfort dishes to gourmet cuisine. While traditional cheese making is often associated with artisanal craftsmanship, modern manufacturing has revolutionized the process to meet global demand. Industrial cheese production combines centuries-old techniques with advanced technology, allowing for the creation of a wide variety of cheeses on a massive scale. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating journey of how cheese is made in manufacturing facilities. From the careful selection and preparation of milk to the precision of automated processes, industrial cheesemaking ensures consistency, efficiency, and safety. The industrial production of cheese relies on a carefully selected combination of ingredients to ensure consistency, flavor, and safety on a large scale. Each ingredient plays a crucial role in shaping the characteristics of the final product. Here's an overview of the key ingredients used in manufacturing cheese. One, milk. Source, the primary ingredient sourced from cows, goats, sheep, or buffalo, depending on the type of cheese being produced. Standardization, milk is standardized to ensure consistent fat and protein levels, crucial for maintaining uniformity in large-scale production. Two, Starter cultures. Purpose. These are beneficial bacteria that ferment lactose, milk sugar, into lactic acid, which aids in curd formation and contributes to flavor development. Three, rennet. Function. A coagulant that causes the milk to curdle, separating solids, curds, from liquids, whey. Four, salt. Enhances flavor. Acts as a preservative to inhibit microbial growth affects texture by drawing out moisture. Five, additives, optional. Coloring agents. Annatto, a natural dye, is commonly used to give cheeses like cheddar their signature orange hue. Preservatives, help extend shelf life and maintain quality during storage and transportation. Flavor enhancers, herbs, spices, or other natural ingredients for specialty cheeses. Six, water, importance. High quality water is essential for mixing and cleaning during production. It must meet strict safety standards to avoid contamination. The industrial production of cheese transforms raw milk into a wide variety of cheeses using highly controlled and efficient processes. Below is a step-by-step -step overview of how cheese is made in manufacturing facilities. One, milk standardization and pasteurization. Milk testing. Milk is tested for quality, fat, and protein content. Standardization, fat and protein levels are adjusted to ensure consistency in the cheese. Pasteurization, milk is heated to kill harmful bacteria and pathogens, ensuring safety without altering the quality of the cheese. Two, adding cultures and coagulants. Starter cultures, bacterial cultures are introduced to ferment lactose into lactic acid, which aids in curdling and flavor development. Rennet addition, rennet, an enzyme, is added to coagulate the milk, forming a gel-like consistency. This step is automated in large-scale production to ensure precision. Three, curd formation and cutting. Formation, the coagulated milk forms solid curds and liquid whey. Cutting, mechanical blades cut the curds into uniform pieces to release whey. The size of the curds determines the texture of the cheese. For example, larger curds for softer cheese, smaller curds for harder cheese. Four, cooking and stirring the curds. Heating, the curds are gently heated to expel more whey and achieve the desired firmness. Stirring, automated stirring ensures even cooking and prevents clumping. Five, whey separation. Draining, the curds are separated from the whey using centrifugal machines or fine mesh screens. Reuse of whey, whey is often processed into other products like whey protein or animal feed. Six, Shaping and pressing. Shaping, the curds are placed into molds that give the cheese its characteristic shape. Pressing, hydraulic presses apply consistent pressure to remove excess whey and compact the curds. Seven, salting. Methods, dry salting, sprinkling salt over curds. Brining, immersing cheese in saltwater solutions. Roll, salt enhances flavor, acts as a preservative, and influences the texture of the cheese. Eight, aging and ripening. Controlled environment. Cheese is aged in rooms with precise temperature and humidity controls. 
Flavor development. Aging allows bacteria and enzymes to develop the cheese's texture and flavor profile. Duration varies from weeks to years, depending on the type of cheese. 9. Quality assurance. Testing. Samples are tested for texture, flavor, and safety. 10. Packaging and distribution. Cutting and packaging. Cheese is cut into blocks, slices, or shreds using automated systems. Sealing. Vacuum sealing or wrapping ensures freshness and extends shelf life. Distribution. Packaged cheese is shipped to retailers, food service industries, or exported internationally. Salting is a crucial step in cheese production, directly affecting the flavor, texture, and preservation of the final product. In industrial manufacturing, salting methods are designed to ensure uniform distribution and efficiency. Here's a closer look at the primary salting techniques used. One, dry salting. Process. Salt is sprinkled or rubbed directly onto the surface of the curds or finished cheese. For some cheeses, salt is added to the curds before they are placed into molds. Usage. Common for hard and semi-hard cheeses like cheddar. Benefits. Allows for precise control of salt concentration. Enhances flavor development in a consistent manner. Two, brining. Process. The cheese is submerged in a salt water solution, brine, for a specific period, ranging from hours to days. The brine concentration and temperature are carefully controlled to match the cheese type. Usage. Typical for cheeses such as mozzarella, feta, and gouda. Benefits. Uniform salt penetration throughout the cheese. Acts as a preservative by inhibiting unwanted microbial growth. Helps develop a firm rind in some cheeses. Three, injection salting. Process. Brine is directly injected into the cheese through automated systems, ensuring even salt distribution in a shorter time. Usage. Employed for certain large-scale or specialty cheeses where efficiency is critical. Benefits. Faster and more consistent salting process. Allows for customization of salt levels in different parts of the cheese. Four, salting and whey. Process. Salt is dissolved in whey, and the curds are stirred within this solution before molding. Usage. Common in fresh cheese varieties such as ricotta. Benefits. Integrates salting as part of the curd preparation, streamlining the process. Produces a milder flavor in the cheese. Five, coating with salt. Process. A layer of salt is applied to the cheese's surface, sometimes followed by wax or other protective coatings. Usage, often used for aging cheeses like Parmesan or Manchego. Benefits, enhances the development of a natural rind. Provides protection during the aging, also known as ripening, is a critical step in cheese production that transforms fresh cheese into a product with rich flavors, distinct textures, and enhanced shelf life. In industrial manufacturing, aging and storage are carried out in highly controlled environments to ensure consistency and quality across large quantities of cheese. Here's an in-depth look at the process. The role of aging in cheese production. Flavor development. Aging allows bacteria, molds, and enzymes to break down proteins and fats in the cheese, producing complex flavors. Texture formation. Soft cheeses become creamier, while hard cheeses become firmer and crumbly. Aroma profile. Characteristic smells develop as microbial activity intensifies during the aging process. Two, controlled aging environments. Temperature, typically maintained between 35 degrees Fahrenheit and 55 degrees Fahrenheit, one degree Celsius to 13 degrees Celsius, depending on the cheese type. Cooler temperatures are used for harder cheeses, while softer cheeses may age in warmer conditions. Humidity, Manage to prevent cheese from drying out or becoming overly moist. Commonly set between 75% and 95% relative humidity. Airflow. Regulated to allow proper ventilation and prevent mold from forming unevenly. Lighting. Minimal light exposure to avoid spoilage or degradation of color and flavor. Three, equipment used in aging and storage. Aging rooms, large insulated spaces designed with precise climate control systems. Shelving and racks. Stainless steel or wooden racks that allow for proper air circulation around the cheese. Sensors and automation. 
Advanced monitoring systems track temperature, humidity, and other variables to ensure consistency. Four, aging times for different cheeses. Fresh cheeses, for example, mozzarella ricotta, are not aged and are ready for immediate packaging. Semi-soft cheeses, for example, Gouda, Havarti, may age for a few weeks to months. Hard cheeses, for example, cheddar, parmesan, are aged for several months to years for intense flavor development. Blue cheeses, for example, Roquefort Gorgonzola, age for weeks to months, allowing mold to mature. Five, processes during aging. Microbial activity. Beneficial bacteria and molds grow on or within the cheese to shape its characteristics. Rind development. Some cheeses form natural rinds, while others may be washed, coated, or waxed for protection. Moisture loss. Gradual evaporation of water from the cheese concentrates flavor and firms texture. Six, ripening techniques in manufacturing. Surface ripening. Cheeses like brie and camembert develop a soft, edible rind due to external mold or bacterial cultures. Internal ripening. Cheeses like blue cheese have mold spores injected into them to facilitate even growth throughout. Washed rind. Cheeses are periodically washed with brine, wine, or beer to encourage bacterial growth on the surface. Seven, storage before distribution. Packaging for storage. After aging, cheeses are vacuum sealed or wax coated to maintain freshness. Cold storage facilities. Finished cheeses are stored at appropriate temperatures until they are shipped. Inventory management. Automated systems track batches to ensure proper aging and minimize waste. Eight, ensuring quality during aging. Regular inspections. Cheese is periodically checked for flavor, texture, and microbial activity. Hygiene standards. Aging facilities are kept clean to prevent contamination. Batch consistency. Uniform environmental conditions ensure consistency across large-scale production. By employing these precise aging and storage techniques, industrial cheese manufacturers produce a wide variety of high-quality cheeses, ensuring they meet both consumer preferences and market demand. Ensuring quality and safety is a critical aspect of cheese manufacturing, particularly in large-scale industrial operations where consistency and compliance with food safety standards are paramount. Quality assurance, QA, and safety protocols are integrated into every stage of production to protect consumers and maintain the reputation of the brand. Here's how these are implemented in manufacturing facilities. One, regulatory compliance. Food safety standards. Adherence to global and local standards such as the FDA, US, HACCP, Hazard Analysis Critical Control Points, and ISO 22000. Labeling requirements. Accurate nutritional labeling and allergen declarations to comply with consumer protection laws. Two, raw material testing. Milk quality. Testing for fat content, protein levels, and the absence of contaminants, for example, antibiotics, pathogens. Starter cultures and additives. Ensuring these ingredients meet specified quality and safety standards. Water quality. Monitoring water used in the process to prevent contamination. Three, monitoring during production. Automation and sensors. Use of automated systems to track temperature, pH levels, and moisture at each step. Critical control points, CCPs. Identification and monitoring of key points where contamination risks are highest such as pasteurization and packaging. Hygiene practices. Strict cleaning and sanitization schedules for equipment and facilities. Four, microbiological testing. Pathogen detection. Regular testing for harmful bacteria such as Listeria, Salmonella, and E. coli. Microbial balance. Verifying the proper growth of beneficial bacteria and molds in fermented cheeses. Shelf life testing. Analyzing how the cheese holds up under storage conditions. Five, consistency in texture and flavor. Batch sampling. Tasting and visual inspection of samples from each batch to ensure consistency. Chemical analysis. Measuring salt, fat, moisture, and protein levels to meet product specifications. Texture testing. Using tools like penetrometers to ensure uniform texture in soft or hard cheeses. Six, packaging integrity. Sealing checks. 
ensuring vacuum seals or wraps are secure to maintain freshness. Material testing. Verifying that packaging materials are food safe and prevent contamination. Packaging and distribution are the final steps in industrial cheese production, ensuring the product reaches consumers in optimal condition. These stages are designed to maintain freshness, extend shelf life, and provide convenience for transportation and retail. The industrial process of making cheese is a remarkable blend of tradition and innovation, combining centuries-old techniques with modern technology to produce cheese on a massive scale. From the careful selection of ingredients and precise production processes to the meticulous packaging and distribution systems, every step ensures the quality, consistency, and safety of